This, my friends, is a rather unusual steam engine. It's uh, rather mysterious. A uh, bit of mystery to it. But before I go into all the mystery surrounding this little steam engine, I'll uh, I'll tell you how I got to this point uh, where I am now. Well, about ten years ago, I purchased this book. Let me just uh, move that out of the way for a few seconds. I purchased this book. It's called Toy Shop Steam, and it's by Basil Harley. Now, I was flicking through the book, and I got to uh, this page halfway through. And I came across this little steam engine, little photograph. I'll just see if I can zoom in there. Alright, I'm not sure if that's out of focus. Anyway, I, I found this um, photograph of this steam engine. And I was quite taken by it. I thought it was rather a nice looking thing. I uh, didn't know anything about it so I just flicked back one page to find a bit of info uh, who made the steam engine. Anyway it's photograph number five so uh, just one second let me zoom out. So uh, look down the list of code plates for number five and to cut a long story short um, the author described uh, this steam engine as English. Well, he thought it was English anyway, I should say. I've got, and uh, the, there was no identifying marks on the engine. Uh, there was no manufacturer's nameplate or anything at all. It's completely blank. Uh, so anyway, I was I was still quite taken by this, and I thought I'm gonna I want to try and get one of them because I actually quite like that. Uh, anyway, uh, it took it took me about ten years uh, to actually find one, and and this is it. Um, I should just add this book was actually printed uh, about thirty five years ago uh, from the date of this video. So the book's thirty five years old. So a fair bit of history to it. Anyway, I managed to find this uh, little steam engine, and there is um, there's absolutely no markings on it at all. There's no registration numbers, uh, no identification marks, no date stamps or letter stamps or anything at all. It's absolutely a blank canvas, uh, which is a shame because it's actually quite. A nice looking steam engine. It's got a, a brass cast flywheel and uh, the sad thing is that you know I've been collecting steam engines for a lot of years and I have seen thousands and thousands and I've only ever seen three of those. Uh, this one here, uh, the one in the book and I saw another one uh, a while ago. So I've actually seen three of these. Um, so there's obviously a, a production model, you know, it's on a production line. And these were manufactured. But it's it's such a shame that this manufacturer has actually been been lost in time, it's been forgotten about. You know, nobody knows who made them, they don't know when they was made uh, and to be honest we don't really know if they are English it does look English uh, the author described it as English so maybe you know a little bit more than I do and um, you know it's, it is quite a rare item so I thought I'd make this uh, little video about it I thought, you know, just on the off chance that someone actually might see this video, what's actually got one of these, you know, can shed a bit more light on it. And until somebody actually 
you know, until one of these actually turns up in an auction uh, somewhere and it's in a box and, you know, the box has got an address on it of a manufacturer, we'll actually never know who made these. So I just thought it's quite quite a, a mysterious little engine and an unusual story that, you know, that somebody actually produced these one day, many years ago, and it's, uh, the company's been forgotten about, it's just been, been lost in time. Which is such a shame, you know. So, uh, that, that's it really. I'll just, I'll just I do a little zoom in on it. I don't think I can really because my camera's not that good. Let's have a look. Mm, I probably can't really get a decent picture of that. Anyway, that's about it for this video. It's just uh, just a quick video on a rather unusual engine. And uh, there seems to be plenty of videos on uh, Mamod and Walesco steam engines out there on YouTube. So I thought I'd uh, just do one or two videos of these more unusual items. And uh, anyway, if if uh, if you've if you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, just give it a like, just give me some feedback that you actually want to see more of these videos. And uh, I do hope, uh, do hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, that's it for now. So bye.